Because he wrote a book in 1687, which we call Principia, which is the basic book of science in the world as we live in here, or in the physical world we live in here. And what we are talking about here is his fundamental laws and the implication of that. Newton has been right for 350 years. He has never lost a game. So the conclusion based on this observation is that the building was brought down by explosives. And the official report by NIST suggests that there was an internal collapse of many floors before that, so which allowed it to collapse in the, in the way it did. You've read the report, that's what it, it talks about, an internal collapse, isn't it? But it doesn't, doesn't make it... You discount that? No, no, because... You think they made it up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think that the NIST report is scientifically so flawed that I would call it a fraud. It's a scientific fraud. It's a conscious cover-up. So the... And no doubt. You're accusing the people who worked on it Dr. Shine Sunder and the other people who worked on it of, of being fraudulent. Uh, of being of being deliberately covering up what actually yeah, happened. Yeah. Quite frankly. It's quite a serious allegation, isn't it? It is. And what do, what evidence do you think they deliberately covered up? Oh, then it's a long, long story. And we have the, no, I'm not at all in this. There are 1,500 architects and architects and engineers behind this claim. Richard Gage, you know this organization. And the, I consider it scientific mainstream that Building 7 came down in a controlled demolition. And you can go through the NIST report page by page and you can see how they're suppressing, twisting, making deliberate and undeliberate errors, downright errors. Mm -hmm. And it is, and, and of course we have, I'm, I'm not alone, well, there are thousands of scientists behind this. And uh, we have pointed on all the faults. It's all, it is not, of course, in the mainstream media, you find this information on the web because the mainstream media do not want to report this. For some reason or other, you should be better to answer that. But it's, uh, yeah, I stand behind my accusation, yes, absolutely. And uh, tell me about, just, just going through some more general points, and, uh, uh, let me just uh, talk about, you talked about the architects and engineers of 9-11 Truth. What do you think has happened to the, uh, those who've questioned the official account? How, how, do you, how would you characterise how that movement has changed over the last 10 years? The movement has changed. It's been growing. It's growing every day. The hundreds of people are uh, uh, seeing on their own. Each one is acting on their own. Nobody's telling anyone to act. Each one is acting out from an inner voice, telling me there's something wrong here. If you have seen Building 7, there is no way back. You can try to, you can try to put it away. I haven't seen it, but it's always there. And Building 7 is coming down in free form. Obviously, a controlled demolition. So you can try to cheat on yourself, or you can speak up and live with dignity. And when did you, what made you, what convinced you that the official account was? I saw Building 7, it's four years ago. And I had two problems immediately. One thing is that up until that point, I thought that the World Trade Center were the Twin Towers. Like everybody else, I most people actually in the world. And uh, I was told that this was, this was World Trade Center. And what I saw was a gigantic skyscraper. From Danish standards, it's three times taller than any building we have around here. Coming down. And why should this be World Trade Center? Why have nobody told me about this before? I this goes to BBC. And uh, the other thing was that I, as, a, as a natural scientist, I'm trained to try to understand whatever goes on around me. This is my instinct, always trying to understand what's going on. And I couldn't understand why this building standing there, the last seconds there are even 
not even small fires. There are no smoke, there's no nothing. You just see the building going down, and you can actually see the explosions are running from the bottom up on the north side. You just watch. But at that time I didn't understand. I just I just said, hey, what's going on? So I had to look into it. This is the bend of my nature. And after a couple of weeks, I understood that this is the most important event in my lifetime. And from that moment on, there's been no way back. And do you feel sort of driven by this? I'm driven by two things. First, I'm opposed to crime. And we are talking about the killing of 3,000 people. And it has never been investigated as a crime. That we have no, we have been presented for no evidence. There's been no grand jury. And uh, nobody has been wanted for the terror attack. Osama bin Laden has never been wanted for it due to the lack of evidence. That's one thing. I'm opposed to crime. Next, I have six grandchildren. And in a couple of years, They'll be old enough to ask me, Grandfather, which side were you on? And I'm going to answer them, I was on your side. So do you believe that there were 19 hijackers? Do, do you accept the official account that there were 19 hijackers and they did take, hijack four airplanes? <laughs> there is no evidence. There is no evidence that these 19 hijackers ever got on these planes. There are no tickets, they're not on the original manifestos. There are no boarding passes. There are no ground hosts telling them they're boarding. There are no videos of them going through security. The one you might refer to is from Portland. There is no evidence that they would be able to take over four airliners at the same time within a half an hour or something and, and prevent eight adult, trained, seasoned pilots from just pushing the hijack button. There is no evidence how these young men who had never flown an airliner before could hit the Twin Towers. It is like threading a needle on a horseback at 900 kilometers at 60 kilometers an hour. There is no evidence explaining why the American Air Force remained on the ground for one and a half hour. Under ordinary circumstances, they would be up and intercepting within 10 minutes. And they stood still for one and a half hour. There is no evidence explaining why an airline, a 577, after having flown around in the most supervised airspace on the Earth, were able to slam into the most strongest surveyed and protected and defended building in the world, the Pentagon. And it was flown by a pilot who couldn't even rent a Cessna. He was not allowed to rent. And it is doing a completely crazy maneuver in the last step, making it 270 degrees turning and diving at the same time. And you want me to believe that? If this was the script of an action movie, wouldn't you run to the ticket office screaming and ask for your money back? So do you think that civilian airplanes did crash into those buildings? Do I believe that? C civilian airplanes, the American Airlines, oh, United States Airlines. Oh, sure, of course, there were two airliners. Well, some people don't believe that. Obviously, they do. <laughs> of course, there were two airliners crashing into the top. And the one into the Pentagon, one in the crashed the ship. Pentagon, uh, we, we are still missing the, the evidence for that. I, but this, there's a lot of discussion about what happened at the Pentagon, and I did not touch that. I don't know. We're still waiting for all the camera all the camera footage which Pentagon confiscated immediately. We're waiting to see that. And if and if the government will release these videos, I think it would help a lot. For instance. And we haven't seen the records. But at the moment you don't you're not convinced that there was even a plane an air, a civilian airplane, American Airlines seventy seven. You don't think that necessarily hit the Pentagon. I'm a scientist and 
all my statements and convictions are based on positive evidence. And what I'm saying, we have to wait for the positive evidence. I'm saying that there is, up until now, there has, there is no evidence for that. And that's where I start. I'm waiting for positive evidence. So if I gave you evidence, would you be convinced by Of course, the one. Would. Okay, well I spoke to the special agent who was in charge of, of gathering evidence from the FBI, who was in charge of gathering evidence from the scene afterwards. She picked up parts of the plane, she picked up, some had distinctive lettering from the, from the American Airlines plane, she picked up body parts, she picked up uniforms, bits of uniforms. Why haven't they displayed it? What, the body parts? They... Body parts of some oh, no. people. But again, well, I, the, the FBI has shown me, and I have film of it, of a, of a section of the fuselage from American Airlines 77. I'll put it up for public okay. dis discussion. Would that convince you? That depends. Of course, I have to see it. I'm, uh, you know, of course. But uh, uh, the official story, which you must agree upon, is what I just told. It's in the 9-11 Commission report, right? Okay. And that's what I relate to. I'm, you asked me in the beginning uh, about evidence pro the official conspiracy theory. And I said there is none. And I said there is plenty of evidence against it. And all the time I'm talking about positive evidence. Now the official account. So you don't, don't, you exclude what the FBI special agent is saying. Is that not positive evidence? Someone who's actually there. I suggest for if the FBI have evidence, they should present it to the public. Of course. A witness who was there? Is that not evidence? No, I... Um, we don't I, trust someone, is that basically what it comes no, down to? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, a, a natural scientist. My convictions are based on hard evidence. You can buy any opinion out there. So a witness who actually sees things, witnesses things, that, that, that doesn't, doesn't count for anything? Of course. It does count in a court of law. Yeah. Yes. But take a woman like April Gallup, who actually walked out the hole with her baby after the event at Pentagon. But, and, and she didn't see any wreckage. Uh, for, and that's witnesses. And there, there are many other witnesses opposing that there was an airline. But please, we are into territory now where there is contradicting witnesses. And I say, my, I base everything I'm saying here as hard evidence. And you're dragging me into a situation where there is no hard evidence. Well, I've seen and I've, I've, I've spoken to witnesses um, and I've seen things myself, which is very hard evidence. I've spoken to a structural engineer who was there at the scene, you know, I don't think you were there. Um, that's pretty clear evidence. From someone who's there, and I think to, to discount someone who's actually there as a witness is secondary, is secondary evidence. You have spoken to somebody who has seen the evidence. Show me the evidence. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah. Yeah, every, yeah. Everybody should want that. Well, a court of law wouldn't work on that basis, would it? A court of law wouldn't work on the basis that we have we discount a witness who is actually there. But can Maybe we agree? With it? Very good. I wouldn't agree on that note because no, no. a court of law works on the basis. That's how all courts of law in the, across the world. Are. A witness is fairly essential to it. Great. If you discount all witnesses, then of course you're not going to see any evidence. Are you? Great. Yeah. You want the court of law. Mm. So do I. Mm. So let's set the court of law and bring in the witnesses. Can we agree on that? Well, it's not for me to decide what. You know, so I, 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 I go and ask people and ask the questions. And, and, and uh, when people are happy to talk to me, then I'm delighted to talk to them. I, what I find strange is that you are not willing to accept the, the word of someone who's a, a clear witness to something. You were referring to the court of law, and we can agree on that. So let us set up the grand jury, bring in the witnesses, and take it from there. Mm. Yeah, but the, the, the point I'm asking is, what, why can't you accept that a witness who's there, an eyewitness, why don't you accept an eyewitness, just because they're an official? What are we talking about now? Well, they're like the, the FBI special agent who was on the scene. Well, the FBI special agent... Gathering, gathering bits of play, gathering bits of body parts, gathering bits of, of uniform from, from people who have been blown up from their life. That's pretty tragic. That's, that's pretty vital and real. 
And you just to dismiss that as though that doesn't count strikes me as rather flippant with, with facts. The FBI agent has seen this. I have. Yes, but, but what I'm asking you is why shouldn't you therefore listen to that FBI agent and okay. take, take note of it and change your views because of that? Because I want this FBI agent to come into the courtroom and present his evidence in front of the judges. And I'm not taking any stand on this. But why, sh why should she come into a court? She hasn't. Why court should I take a stand on this? Because she should come into the court. Because what I'm talking about is is a, is a, is a court with what you call supreme power. So the court should ask the FBI agent to come in and present her evidence. And I'm this is I'm all I'm asking for, and this is what I'm waiting for. I'm not taking a stand of you as the second reference of some FBI agent who said something and you want me to relate to that? Isn't this a bit far? Not really. I mean, she, she said it on camera. She, she's a eyewitness to it at the time. Um, how, how good do you want someone who's actually there? I want... Holding body parts, holding uniforms, holding bits of airplane. I mean, oh, how did it... Off. Oh, okay, it's done. Just changed it. Changed it. Hold Hold this, hold it. Paint it, hold You're being off guard. You're deep Sorry? You're running off. I think I'm running off rails. You don't? I mean, it's, it's, it, the Pentagon is a fairly important area to, to ask questions about, isn't it? I mean, you... you actually, it's, it is, actually, it is the V. Thing, but uh, the government is, uh, is done in scientific circles um, to run it off. Track. Why is it least important? No, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, sorry, well, uh